Hey, what's up everyone? Um, as you can see, this is going to be your very first uh, Perl lecture, and um, I already mentioned this in the introduction, but the book that I'm going to be using is uh, Programming Perl by Larry Wall, and um, Larry Wall is actually the creator of Perl, so I don't think there's any other book that's better than this one. So let's get started. Um, the first thing I'd like to say that is I'm going to begin in chapter 2 because chapter 1 is definitely not for beginners. It's more for experienced programmers who are actually looking for a refreshment. So, um, in, okay, so in chapter 2, you notice that some in, there's a few pages with really nothing that important, but some of the important stuff um, first appears on page 49. And on page 49, you learn that Perl is a free-form language. So, let me write that down. Perl is a free... That's not free. <laughs> Sorry. Free-form uh, language. Now, what this means exactly is that Perl, in Perl, you can put spaces and um, tabs or or new lines. I'm sorry, anywhere you like. And what that does is it makes the code easier to read, and it also organizes code so that maybe in a month or so you can still remember what you wrote. If the code is jumbled, it's very hard for other people to read and in a month, maybe you won't remember what you wrote. So that's important. Um, spaces, tabs, new lines, anywhere. Except, um, where not allowed. Okay, good. Now, the next thing that we learn is that Perl consists of tokens. Perl tokens. And what tokens are is basically a fancy computer jargon for a unit of a, a sequence of characters with a unit meaning. First with unit meaning. Uh, so with most of my definitions, I'm going to put in braces from now on. And I might occasionally throw in some uh, notation. And if you're confused, you could write a comment to me, and I'll, I'll change that. So uh, what this tells you is that you basically build all your Perl scripts with tokens. And tokens. It's just a fancy computer jargon that you didn't really need to know, but I just threw it in there in case you got confused. So now, with tokens, there's something else called an ad identifier associated with the token. Identifier. Now, what an identifier is, it's basically a computer jargon that, that characterizes all the possible names that you can give to some token. In Perl, there's some, some specific restrictions on the um, type of, types of names that you can give to tokens, such as you can't begin 
uh, the name of a token first with a with some special character, it always has to be either A through B, lowercase or capital case, or one through nine. And um, identifiers is is really you just need to know it, and I think that's it. So then, um, so we move on. Okay, yeah, the next thing is actually really, really, really important. Um, well, first let me put down the definition of the identifier. So, a token, so identifier is a token, whoops, That starts with a letter or underscore and contains only letters, digits, and underscores. Letter or underscore. And only letters, digits, and underscores. Um, 